and then might as well add a little bit more glow. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really fun video for you guys today, a get ready with me doing this makeup look right here and using all products that are $7 or under. Now I know pricing kind of varies depending on where you live and where you purchase products, but I'm thinking like, you know, more affordable stores or online, these things that I looked up were all $7 or under and I live in Texas, so that's kind of the pricing I'm going off of. Anywho, they're all really affordable and a lot of them are even under $5, which is awesome. And this is the look that I ended up creating today. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do get ready with me's, drugstore videos like new with drugstore, um, favorites, empties, some fashion content, just lots of fun things here on my channel. So if you are new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we're doing this look today. So let's get to it. Okay, so I already applied some moisturizer, so I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 120 Classic Ivory. This is a really nice, long-wearing foundation. It is matte, but I wouldn't say that it is um, like flat matte or dry. It's really a very good formula, in my opinion. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty on the skin, but then you just get that longevity. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer and then apply a little bit more, maybe in some areas that I want a little bit more coverage, but I'm trying to keep it a thin layer. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So affordable. Really one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. This works so well for the price. I mean, it's just a good one. While I let that set, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. And I don't know what color this is. I guess we'll see. A little bit dark, but I think I can make it work. And I'll just put some powder over the top of it to kind of tone it down a little bit. Definitely too dark, but we can make it work. Okay, to mega tame this down, I'm gonna use some of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair. I'm gonna have to go light-handed with this because it's gonna be really light, but I just kinda wanna like fluff it over the top of my brows to sort of calm them down a little bit. Wow. That makes a big difference. I'm also going to set my eyeshadow primer with a little bit of this powder. Okay, now for eyes, my favorite part. So I'm gonna use a couple of the Rimmel Magnifies. I grabbed the Nude Edition and the Crimson Edition. Ooh, that was reflecting. Nude and Crimson Edition. I'm gonna use a little bit from both, I think. So, to begin with, let me find a brush, like a Profusion brush maybe from one of their palettes. Oh, or did I buy this? I think I might have bought this on Amazon, Pointed Crease Eyeshadow ES3 brush. Okay, I'm going to start with this one right here from the Nude Edition palette. Tap off my brush and just build this up in my crease and transition area. Now I'm going to use the Crimson Edition, some of this one right here, and go kind of in that same area. I really enjoy these palettes. I think the quality is really good. A lot of times they go on mega sale. I mean, they're already affordable, but then sometimes they can go on just crazy good sale. Now I'm going to take the Crimson Edition palette and get some of this shade, kind of like a rusty burgundy kind of a color. I'm using Adelium Tools. 781 brush. I'm just going to kind of tap this in my outer corner, really kind of like outer half of my lid. I got some product collecting out here and then I rubbed it with my finger, making it worse. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean this up. I'm going to do a little layering and just kind of play with some different products. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. It's one of their um, liquid shadows. This is in, what is it? What's it called? I already forgot. Big Dipper. 
Big Dipper. I'm gonna take this little tiny brush from Real Techniques. This is the shading brush, it says. It's a little tiny one. So I'm gonna get some of the product on that brush and just kind of build this up on mm, like half to two thirds of my lid. I'm gonna go back in with some of that kind of burgundy color and I'm just barely touching to kind of layer that again in the outer corner. Now to get a little more sparkle, just a little bit, I'm gonna use Flirty Birdie, love this one. Also Elf, one of their liquid shadows. And I'm getting this on a pencil brush and I'm just gonna kind of tap this on more of the inner third or so of my lid. I might kind of lightly bring it over just to kind of blend, but keep it more on the inner part. Okay, for liner and mascara, I'm gonna use one of my favorite liners ever, the Rimmel Scandalize. This one is in the brown shade. It's a really pretty, kind of like rich, dark, bronzy brown shade. I love this, amazing formula to it too. And then for mascara, I'm gonna do a little layering. I'm gonna do the Essence Lash Princess and also the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. So I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth with these and just layer them up. This Big Papa Mascara from Wet n Wild is definitely a gloopier sort of a formula, but I really don't mind that in a mascara. Sometimes you can get some of the best volume and rich looking lashes with this kind of a formula. Okay, moving on to concealer. I'm gonna use one of my favorite, favorite affordable concealers. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna use it in Fair. Such a good formula on this. So good for under eyes, but also great on the rest of your face. It's just creamy, but not greasy. So it's forgiving, but has good coverage. It's just good stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna set that. So kind of my T-zone area with that Maybelline Fit Me powder, once again, in Fair. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques setting brush for this. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in Warm Light. This is a pretty, like, glowy, kind of forgiving powder. I would say like a satin finish, not full on glowy, but more satin. Okay, then for bronzer, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Tees. This is super affordable. It is a good bronzer. It's pretty warm tone, but I like the formula of it. And this bronzer does have a bit of a glow to it, which I think is pretty. Before I forget, let me go ahead and put some, I could put eyeshadow on my lower um, lash line, but I prefer not to for me personally, just because I feel like it kind of closes off my eyes a little bit. So I think my eyes look bigger if I don't put shadow there. So I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and I'm also going to top kind of the, um, tips of my lashes to sort of like seal those other mascaras because this one really does not smudge on me. Then for blush, I'm gonna use this Believe Beauty Blush. You can get this at Dollar General, but I think it's sold online too, so I'll link it for you. They sent this to me a while back, just so you know. This is the Born to Blush blush in high tea. Really pretty, glowy, peachy blush. It's beautiful. I was not planning on such a glowy cheek, but apparently that's what happened. You know what? I have an idea. Let's see, hang on. So to give my cheeks a little bit more color with all this glow, I want a little bit more color, I'm gonna take a little bit of this from the Crimson palette. So I'm just gonna take a smaller brush. This is a Real Techniques setting brush. 
So I'm gonna kind of just go between these colors right here. Get those on my brush, kind of tap it on the back of my hand and then buff this on my cheeks and just kind of add a little bit more color. A lot of times I use shadows as blush. Really the only key is kind of getting your brush in there. I think that totally worked. Add a little bit more color there. That's fun, kind of tied in the eyes too. And then might as well add a little bit more glow just because we're playing with all the different products. Gonna add a little bit more glow on just the tops of my cheekbones. It's gonna be a obviously super glowy look. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. So I'm gonna use some of this up on my cheekbones and then also on the inner corners of my eyes. Pretty. And last up for lips, I'm gonna use one of my favorite lip liners ever, the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Dusty Rose, so, so pretty. Then I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Lipstick. I love these and they are so affordable in couture. I'm kind of filling in my lips with this. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of the lipstick. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really like how it came together. I think it's so fun and all super duper affordable. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what some of your favorite, most affordable makeup products are. I would love to hear that. I love finding and trying new makeup. So let me know your picks down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.